If you've ever wanted to create a style with your photos and then apply that same style to multiple photos, the perfect way to do that was with Lightroom presets. And today we're gonna to show you how to create them. So we're starting in Lightroom Classic. We're gonna go ahead and double click on this image here. Now, what I wanna do, we're gonna to go to our develop tab on the top right, and we're gonna make a couple changes here on the right hand side, let's start by go ahead and take our contrast. We're just gonna reduce the contrast of our image just a little bit. We're gonna bring the highlights down and we're gonna go ahead and bring the shadows up. Now, a great place to work with your presets is actually with color grading. So on the right hand side, we're gonna collapse this and go all the way down to where we see color grading. Now, this is really cool because you can adjust your midtones, your shadows, and your highlights. All you have to do is click right here in the middle and drag out in different directions to create the color and look that you want. So we're gonna take our midtones a little bit warmer for this. It's kind of like a sun, like a you know sunny day beach image. Our shadows here, we can click and drag out and maybe we'll just bring these a little bit cooler. That tends to look really good. Now here you can adjust your balance of how much this is actually going to fade into those colors. That looks really good. And our highlights, let's go ahead and see. Honestly, you can just click right here in the middle and drag this around. Now, once you have this in a place that you like, let's say you like this nice kind of like warm color, you can actually click here on this little slider and make it more or less saturated. And this little icon right here at the edge, you can actually just change your hue right here. Fantastic, that looks really good. So I'm gonna hit the slash key so we can see there's our before and the after. We just have like a nice warm kind of low contrast image. This is really great for a preset because we're not editing it like so strong, right? We're gonna be able to come back to this preset at any time. So how do we apply these adjustments to a Lightroom preset? Well, here on the very left hand side, you're gonna see a few different options, snapshots, presets, history and collections. Let's go ahead and open up presets. Now here we have our favorites up here at the very top. You have a user presets, and then you have a lot of these that come with Lightroom. But the ones we're gonna to create today are in user presets. So let's go ahead and open that up. And all you have to do is go right to the very top and hit this little plus icon. We're gonna to go to create preset. All right, and I'm just gonna call this warm, low contrast. I find that it helps to name these presets like descriptive of what they're actually doing to the image. You can call them like summer day, whatever you want. But if it actually says like warm, low contrast, you're like, okay, I know what that's actually gonna do. So our group here, this is gonna go in the user presets. Now here you can actually choose what you would like to be selected in your preset. I recommend starting off by going to check none here on the very bottom, and then only check the things that you actually wound up changing in your image. You can see we adjusted our contrast, we adjusted our highlights, and we adjusted our shadows, and we also did some color grading. That way, if you did adjust any of these other settings with your image, it wouldn't overwrite them when you applied your preset. So I recommend only selecting the actual options that you adjusted with your preset. Okay, and let's go ahead and click on create. And here you're gonna see we have warm, low contrast and it applies to this image. Now let's go back to our library view here and I'm gonna hit G to get to the grid view and we can click on some other images. So this image, there we go, I want this to have the same type of lighting. So let's go to our develop module here and I have to just simply click on warm, low contrast and there we go, instantly it saves. Now one step further, because I already have that setting, I can click on this image to start with and then I can click on a whole bunch of these. So I can hold shift and click on a bunch of these images. I'm gonna hold shift and then controller command. I'm gonna select literally all of these images. You can see this one is lighter than the other one. So this is gonna be our main image. And then we're gonna go right on here to the very bottom to where it says sync settings, okay? And I'm just going to basically just check contrast, highlights, shadows, and of course, color grading. Let's click on synchronize and here we go. We can see all of these images basically have the exact same color grading applied to them. So not only did we create a preset, but we showed you how to apply the preset individually with this image and then sync it across an entire collection of images and now we have that same style across all of our photos. Now, the cool thing is you can actually export these presets out so you can share them or even sell them. All you have to do, we're going to the preset right here, warm, low contrast. We're gonna right click and go down to where it says export. Fantastic. Now we're gonna put this in our preset folder. You guys can actually download this preset and all of these sample images on flurn.com, totally free. Just follow the link down below. Okay, so we're gonna put it in the preset folder. We're gonna call it warm, low contrast, click on save. I already put in there, so I'm gonna go ahead and put replace. And then to import this back into Lightroom, all you have to do is go to File, 
down here to where it says import develop profiles and presets. There we go. Simply click on this and click on import. Now I already have it. So it's going to say I can't import it in here because it's already in here. But if it was a new version of Lightroom or a different catalog, there you'd go. You have that preset available for you. So you could apply this exact same look to any of your photos as well as share or maybe even sell them. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give us a big thumbs up. And if you want to get more free tutorials on Lightroom and Photoshop, go ahead and click on subscribe. Thanks again, and I'll flarn you later. Bye, everyone.